Hi everyone, so in this video I want to check out the FMS FCX24 which is a 124 scale crawler and it's the Chevy Blazer. Looking forward to it. And here it is, Blaze the Trails with the K5 Blazer by FMS. On the FCX24 platform, on the box we can read it has a two speed transmission, hard body and more so let's check out the rest of the box they come in some really cool colors and i like all of them but uh, you know money wise i can only afford one of them so i got the black one and on the other side of the box we have more specifications and i mean it has metal gears and portal access already installed and you can take off the hood in the back I mean, yeah, you can read the stuff all by yourself, or you just pause and then read, take your time. And then we'll see what's in the box. Like a manual! Please, please read it. And it's packed in styrofoam. Maybe in the future they can come up with a more environmental friendly solution. But whoa, it looks so beautiful. Look how shiny. As always, we have a closer look at it later. Here's some extra stuff like a front bumper, license plate, charger, wrenching tool, roof bar, and the charger. And I think for my first run, I will leave it as it is. I will not change anything, put not a thing extra on it. And here's the remote. There's a button for binding. We can also reverse steering trim and steering dual rate. And you can easily fit it in one hand. It's fully proportional steering and throttle. The plastics of the remote are okay. They don't feel too cheap. Your batteries go in here. I think it's like four triple A's. So here we have the roof rack. And as I said, all the extra stuff I will install in another video. And some certificate. <laughs> oh, they stuck some foam underneath here for protection during transport, I guess. And I think it's um, fitted with friction dampers. Let's have a look. It's so glossy and chromey and all the details, I love it. And the tires, uh, they feel good, they have foam in them and they're grippy. I mean, that's what you expect from a good ready-to-run model. And I love them. They feel good, they look good and I think they're even bead locks. Let's have a look. Yes, they are. So this is how it looks like underneath. We have some plastic parts. And that's not a shame because the gears are all metal and the shafts, yeah, you can upgrade them. And maybe the links, it's even okay if they are plastic because they have some flex to them. And also, it's a weight thing. And yeah, like I said, the dampers are friction dampers. And here are some clamps. If you want to pop up the hood, you just use your fingers, tweeze it there. Try to do it very carefully because I don't want to scratch the body yet. And click and done, I guess. Well, it's a bit fidgety. They must have had their reason because they also use Velcro sometimes and the hinge in the back, which would have been more easier, but they have their reasons, I guess. Ah, finally done. Careful with the cable though. And here we are. So here we have the gearbox and the motor right next to it. And you can see there's a servo just for the gears. Battery is held in place by this rubber band. 
there it is and the steering servo is on top of the front axle and let's have a look yes there it is and makes absolute sense to put it there and i think we have some waterproofing going on wouldn't want to submerge it though it's a 130 brushed motor and here's the gears again the servo for switching the gears Here we have the control unit. This is also where you can connect the LEDs. This is the connection for the battery, which is a two way LiPo, 380 milliamp hours. Enough talk about the specs, let's get it outside. And here we have a warning sticker, let's see what it reads. Careful, don't want to scratch the body with my fingernails. Beware of collision to avoid appearance damage. I mean, I'm not really sure if you even want to take it outside crawling. If it falls, you have scratches and you'll be sad. I will be silent for a moment now. Ah yes, that felt good. This thing will attract smudges so bad, so make sure you have your microfiber tissue with you all the time. I mean, this thing makes for a perfect shelf queen, but I'm sure it's also a great crawler. Remote on. And the switch for the car is here. Power on. <laughs> and it's so beautiful. Oh, and steering servo has some power to it. I like it. And it's quick too. And as I said before, this thing has two gears, so I will want to have a look at that for a minute. So this is where you switch to the gear, first gear. Taking it slow. Yeah, I guess it has some nice modulation there. And will it be as good in reverse? Looking good. And this is full speed in the first gear. Friction dampers are a bit bouncy. <laughs> Ooh, powerful brake. By the way, you can put that switch in the middle, but you will not get forward with it. You will still have steering, but it won't drive. All right, let's see the second gear. <laughs> Look at those brakes. <laughs> but for crawling, I will set it back to first gear.
I really love the way it looks. It looks so great. Big fan of the blazer. And I still want to get the orange one. And by the way, this is how it looks now after the first run. Shouldn't be afraid that it would get scratches, otherwise you will be sad all the time. And I also want to make more videos about this one, adding some more details, uh, switching up to oil shock. So what do you say after seeing this? Would you want to get one for yourself? I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like, consider subscribing and thank you for watching.